you've probably heard of someone being a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll. Well, this guy is a little bit G1, a little bit robots in disguise. He's a little bit Combiner Wars and a little bit Titans Return. But it is all Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Jazz. With a few custom paint apps, I may add. And we're going to talk about everything to do with this guy in the latest Got Ba True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We continue with my coverage of Wave 1 of Power of the Primes by looking at Jazz. I said we were going to do something a little more interesting and I like to think that this guy actually will be. Now before we get to that, I am your host as always, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, and me everywhere. Spend some time on the channel, see what it is that catches your interest and tickles your fancy. Uh, now, this guy has actually been the source of a bit of controversy. Some people really like him, some people really don't. I... I guess I'll give my opinion on him as we get into it. We're going to start off looking at his box, his collector card, and his accessories really quickly here. And here's the box art. Uh, it's definitely jazz that's on it. You'll notice that his whole thing here is blue with the Autobot symbol on it, um, which is good. It's pretty accurate. Uh, his car mode is down there. By the way, on the side of the box we have what looks to be a combiner. I, I think it's the Starscream combiner. Why he would be pictured there, I'm not sure. Who knows? Maybe it is the combiner for Inferno that will be upcoming. On the back, we find out that uh, he's a, a special ops agent and we wonder how he will wield the power of the primes and of course you see his prime armor up here with Liege Maximo in it and yeah so we have all of that going it's a box then we have the ever popular collector card um again I've said it before 12 variants of this I'm not interested in them I'm not interested in any of these if they don't have tech specs on them this one is Vector Jazz and what's the power that Vector Prime gives them it's absolutely ridiculous he can travel through time to hear uh, all kinds of music. Like, I, you have a radio. You can hear different eras on that. I don't know why you need to travel through time to listen to it. And if you're able to travel through time, you have nothing better to do than listen to music. I'm just saying, I think there's better things that you can spend your time and resources on. This is Jazz's Silver Blaster. It's a Silver Blaster. It's fine. Um... It's not big. As a matter of fact, one of the scraplets has incessantly been saying, that's some big gun Jazz has. Very sarcastically. But he's right. It's not big, but it is pretty accurate. It's too bad it cannot go on his shoulder. Then we have Jazz's prime armor. It's just black. Straight up black. You have the two thumbs and the fingers inside. Um, it can be a left hand or a right hand. Of course, it's not a foot piece. Um, okay. All right, at least Dreadwinds match the color. This doesn't. You, again, you can have, if I can do it, you can have that clear centerpiece come out. A Prime Master or Titan Master can go in there. This can serve as an extra blaster or weapon thing. We'll see that a little bit later. And if we bring Jazz back in, uh, you can see I have one blaster I guess put over here. The other one is in his hand. He holds them fine. Absolutely no problem. Um, his prime armor can really go in one of two locations. Um, and then here I'll actually put a Titan Master in here for now since I don't have any of the Prime Masters. And I'm not really sure if I'm in for them. I don't know. We'll see when the time comes. Uh, so he can first and foremost use this slot back here. Now there's actually three holes there, but the one right here, you could easily take this and, uh, you know, put it in like that. 
uh, I guess he has a little skirt piece or a, a thruster pack. Or you can put it on the front. Now a lot of people, there's a little flap that folds in down here. And a lot of people kind of wrap it around that flap, but that's not exactly what you're supposed to do. On the grill pieces here, there's a little slot there and a little slot over there. And on the hand piece, on the two thumbs, you have a, a little tab here and a little tab here. And what you're supposed to do is use the little tabs on the thumbs. And here it is on, um, I don't know, do you think that that looks good? Uh, I, you know, I, I think that trying to integrate it is cool, but it really does sort of stick off like a sore thumb. It's not for me, but hey, for anybody who digs it, I guess it's cool that it can integrate. It certainly does add a, another dimension of playability, I suppose. In terms of the art of uh, paint apps, paint apps first. Let's actually grade the paint apps. Uh, straight out of package, they're actually pretty decent. They're pretty accurate to jazz. I can't complain about them. They're, I would say, somewhere around out of package a nine. They're pretty close, pretty accurate, to be perfectly honest with you. By the way, this blaster, if you don't want it in his hand, he also has five millimeter holes on the side of his arm, so you can just stick it in there as well. Um, I added the little bit of blue down here. I added some gray in around his body cavity. I made his fists black. I honestly think that the paint apps now are a 10. The only thing that's off for me with this guy is that his hood is stylized. Uh, you know, I mean, you should have, you shouldn't have the translucent plastic here. That should just be white hood. And you should have two little circular um, headlights kind of way down here. And that red piece across the bottom should go straight across. And his shoulders look a little, maybe too bulky, too hench. It's, it's all right, but it is a little bit stylized. In fact, you know, here is my, here is my, actually, here is the R.I.D. Jazz, which I think he draws definitely some inspiration from, for sure. And <clears throat> until this guy came along, my Jazz was my custom FOC version. Uh, this guy's a little bit bigger. Now, I I've heard he's a bit smaller than the RTS Jazz, so it's up to you. I looked at the FOC Jazz in full in episode 103, and I said his paint apps were an 8. And I still think that they were an 8. They're, uh, you know, up now to, uh, I'd say, a 10 again. Uh, I do think that the, the hood and the way the chest looks on the FOC one is more accurate than the new one. Uh, I said that the articulation on the FOC Jazz was a 7, so taking him out of it. What's the articulation on this guy? Well, the head can go left and right. It can kind of wiggle up and down a bit. The shoulders are weird. They can go all the way around on a hinge. And there's another hinge up right here on the shoulder for to go out. Now, if you put it in certain angles, I feel like it doesn't always work the best. Uh, we have a ball joint that gives him a little over 90 degrees at the elbow. And he does not have a bicep swivel, but the ball joint gives him, again, kind of a bicep swivel. It's very Legends class-ish. Um, and that's kind of what this guy feels like, an up, upscale Legends class. We have the legs that go all the way out to the side. They can go, you know, well forward. They could go back further if we unpeg his backpack. They can go all the way back. But you do have to unpeg his backpack for that. He has a thigh swivel. He has a deep knee. And because of transformation, I guess he technically has toe tilts. 
though the toes are kind of locked now it's a not a tight lock so it's easy enough to move if you want to now why does he not want to stand there now? there we go now all of that being said all of that being said he does most things that you'd want him to do. Oh, and by the way, he also has an ankle, or sorry, a waist swivel. Although I'm finding it difficult to show that now. He does have a waist swivel. And he has wrist rotation, but because the car comes down behind it, you're not really going to get any use out of it. He stands like a champion, to be honest with you. Uh, though I was having trouble there a minute ago with him. The articulation on the FOC one was a 7. The articulation on this guy, though there are a couple of strange choices, like with those shoulders, and though there's no actual bicep swivel, and I get why, because there's a tire here for transformation, at least they found a way to kind of, you know, fake it till you make it. I'm going to give his articulation, it's all there, even though some choices are odd, I'm going to give his articulation a solid 8.5. So we have... 10 for paint apps now because of, you know, what I added, though they were pretty good anyway. Uh, the styling, again, that's up to you. I I'm okay with it. It's growing on me, even though it is, you know, not quite right. There's just that something that you can't put your finger on that's off. Still, you're not going to mistake that as jazz. So a strong start there, a strong start with articulation with it being a 9. Let's look at the transformation. I said the transformation of the FOC Jazz was an 8. Now the problem with the FOC Jazz is that those shoulders, over time, get weak. I had one of the arms break off on Sideswipe. I had one of the arms break off on Jazz. That was my second FOC Jazz. I don't know if I feel more sturdy about the arms on this guy. I think so, but again, we'll see over time. I don't think you have the same danger that you have with him. There's a lot of paint on this guy because his whole hood section and this whole back section is all clear paint or clear plastic that's been painted. So there's a lot of paint on this guy. We're going to look at all of his modes. We're going to get into the transformation because remember, though I showed uh, his accessories and the integration with uh, his prime armor and whatnot, technically these guys also have the gimmicks from Combiner Wars. So we're going to show him as an arm, or at least the way I would do him as an arm. We're going to show him as a leg and then we're going to show him in vehicle mode. And truth is, you do uh, a fair amount of the vehicle mode anyway for the other modes. It's just a matter of how you move it around. So, we begin by untabbing the roof from the back and bringing this up. Now, I'll say this and I'll point it out now. A lot of people have had trouble when it comes to bringing the chest piece down. There's a couple of little uh, tabs there and a couple of little slots in the black. The clear plastic tabs need to go down into the slots on the, the black. The easiest way I have found to do it is to lift up his, his arm and kind of look in under his armpit as you angle it in. Do not push the whole backpack in all the way because if you do that, then you're going to have it in a bit too far and this is as close as you're going to get. You almost need to get those pegged in first and then the backpack will kind of go into place and you can give that a uh, final nudge to have it into position. So, take that off and untab that. Bring the arm down, bring the arm down, fold it in, and fold it in. Just like that for now. Then, you come to where his head and whatnot is. You push his head in all the way, so now his head is down here. And this whole piece here, you push back and up through. And then you straighten this out and you bring it down. You might have to 
still, you might have to take those arms out, you might have to put this forward a bit so that you can get this section here in underneath the windshield. Bring those arms back in if you had to move it. Okay. Now for his arm mode, you bring up the combiner peg, you take this and on this white armature in here, you angle it down and in, you peg his two legs together, you turn it. And boom, in the end, this is Jazz in his arm mode. By the way, I also colored the tail lights red here. Uh, now some people turn it the other way and say it's more interesting that way. You can do that, but again, you're losing some of the uh, elbow bend. I wouldn't. I would, you know, I would keep the arm like this personally. But that's just me and that's just one personal choice. Some people say like, hey, is there any way to secure this in? Yes, there is. Uh, you have a little tab right here and a little slot on the side. And when you push the arm in, and push the arm in, they do tab in. There. And that's pretty much jazz as an arm. If you dig it, cool. Okay, so to do him as a leg, we'll lift that up for now. We'll turn this whole piece around. We're going to split the legs at the moment and we're going to open this one up. It opens this time from the outer edge. I was a little while trying to figure out exactly where it opened from, but it opens from the outer edge. Once you have it open, you need to collapse it. Collapse it in. And then you can close it up. You do the same thing on the other side. You open it from the outside, you collapse it up, you close it over. Then you peg the legs together. If you didn't do it already, you can uh, flip the toe up. Okay, now that we've got those in, you will notice that we have a little tab here and a little tab there. We bring this all the way down. When we bring it down, there's a little blue tab here, and of course there's one on the other side, and those little tabs will go in to those holes that I pointed out to you a moment ago. Uh, and boom, here you have Jazz in his leg mode. Uh, it's fine. I don't have any problem with it. You know, you'd put a, a foot down here. Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. It, whatever. Again, I don't plan to combine Jazz. I don't see the point in making these non-combiners combiners. But if you dig it, and you like making up your own combiners, it's kind of cool that this guy is compatible with Combiner Wars, so you have so many options of how to sort of mix and match. Again, play value. Um, we bring that down for his vehicle mode. That's just his combiner peg. We brought it in. We angle this up. We can bring the back section down and tab it in. And now bring these side sections in. Again, we have this tab here that goes into the side. And same on this side. Oh, and I still have that in his hand. Take that out. And boom, in the end, there you have Jazz. Uh, you might have noticed that I fiddled with putting the arms in. The only reason is because I thought that I had the back here tabbed in and I didn't. That was on me, totally. Um, you know, here he is. I, I have the tail lights colored in now. Again, this is not his traditional vehicle mode, but I think it looks all right. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have any problem with it at all. Um, bringing it in closer here for you. You can see right there how he looks. I totally dig it. Um, in terms of his, I guess, storage in this mode, well. You can always take the blaster and you know, like store it right there, I guess. And you can always use this peg here again and 
I guess taking that blaster out of it, you could do something like that, I, I suppose. I, in this case, I guess, have his blaster pointed forward. There you go. There's, there's your jazz. I don't know. I don't plan to use... I really don't plan to use that thing. Um, this I'll probably just angle it back. What can I say? He's not perfect, no, but I do like the detailing. The transformation is not hard. Um, this is how he looks underneath. Tabbing these arms in is probably the, the biggest pain you're going to have. And that's not really much of a pain. Um, I'm going to give this transformation a solid, I think it's a solid 8. Overall, I think Jazz is pretty good. He's about an 8. Probably not the best in the line, but definitely, definitely uh, not terrible either. I like him. I think overall he's a solid 8. We had a, a, a 10 for paint apps. We had a 9 for post-ability, playability. We had an 8 for transformation. Uh, you know what? Maybe he's a 9. So, so far this line is pretty strong. Stronger than I anticipated it being. If you are not into this guy, if you're not into the look, if you like the FOC version or you like the RTS version, hey, I totally get it. But the one big win that this guy has for me is that he does not have the door wings. And I know that that's toy accurate, but I don't want the door wings because that's not the way he appeared on the program. So right away, that's one reason why I actually like this guy more over the RTS version, because I don't know if there's a way to kind of hide the door wings or something there. If there is, let me know. Um, and I kind of like him a little bit more than the FOC version, because at least he does turn into a car instead of a Cybertronian car. And uh, it, it's a little more reminiscent of G1 than the FOC one is as well. No, it's not a perfect jazz, but it's not a bad choice either, if you like it. Anyway, let me know what you think about this guy. And uh, as always, I look forward to hearing from you. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together for another visit right here inside the videos.